Welcome to Sogi Palace. I am your host, Chris. Today I am reviewing the Gurkha Marquesa. Here it is. I've already done a straight cut on it, trying something different. And uh, I got this one recently, about almost a month ago now, I guess, at uh, my local shop for about $9.50. You can get it cigars, it's uh, international for around $7.60. It's a 5x52 Robusto, reported at medium strength. The wrapper is from uh, Sumatra and the origin is Dominican Republic. So, as I mentioned in my last video, all these reviews I do is a, my first time ever trying the cigar. Uh, so far I've only cut it, so it smells good. Got a pretty loose, easy draw. Got a good flavor. Yep. So let's get this thing lit up. First time I've had a Gurkha in a long time. First time I've bought a Gurkha in a long time. I know they're really popular. I just not one that, I don't know, a lot of the smokers I know don't really go for them. This is, well, I don't know. Don't want to speak ill of them. They're, obviously pretty popular my question about Gurkhas is where are they really made and who really makes them I know that Gurkha doesn't poss can't possibly make all the gazillions of different labels, brands, and everything that they make. There's something weird. Okay, part of the wrapper. Is this part of the cap, I guess, no big deal. But first time I'd been to the uh, my local smoke shop since they moved I just walked in the door and go what's new you know it's I've been admittedly out of the game for a while I'm just curious uh, what's what's new and they have this area where they have some of their newer stuff and this was in that area he didn't talk it up a great deal and he kind of had the same thought process I do about Gurkha is that they're popular with certain groups of smokers Let's see, that's, I, I'm trying to find a better way to put it. Um, I won't say beginners. <laughs> or the, the people that don't aren't hardcore smokers. But that's kind of the reputation that I've heard. I know that they sell some of the most expensive cigars in the world. Some ridiculously priced ones. And people buy it. But yeah, my main question about them is where are they made? Well, this one's Dominican. Um, who makes them? What factories? I don't know if there are any Gurkha factories. It could be totally wrong, but, and they advertise like crazy everywhere. So let's see what um, Cigar National has to say about it. Gurkha goes, Gurkha goes pre-embargo. The width and breadth of Gurkha Empire brands is as strong as the day is long. Indeed, from uber-refined, ultra-expensive, cognac-infused cigars to everyday, friendly, insanely affordable bundles, Gurkha can do it all. Today, Kaizad Hansodia, the brand's mastermind, turns his attention to pre-embargo Cuba to craft a cigar that honors the Cuban heritage of all modern-day cigars with the new Gurkha Marquesa. The artwork on this one is, quite frankly, beautiful. And luckily, the flavor is just as nice. Yeah, it's a pretty nice band. Utilizing a soft and silky Sumatra wrapper leaf, Gurkha Marquesa delivers a medium body profile that includes hints of roasted nuts, slight saltiness, natural tobacco crispness, and a sweet core of flavor. Marquesa might just end a uh, uh, typo there, guys, being one of Gurkha's best blends of, to date. So I'd highly recommend grabbing yourself a few today. Um, that was Scar International. Like I said, they charge $7.60, which is 
a couple of dollars less than I paid. Um, it's a pretty nice looking wrapper, and I, I like Sumatra wrappers. Um, I don't usually go for medium, medium full to full, um, but hey, why not? My first impressions is that it's uh, kind of mild to medium. It's nothing too overpowering in it. Good performer. It's uh, drawing real easily, drawing a lot of smoke too. Yeah, not bad at all. Flavor wise, there's a little bit of bitterness in there and it's not because uh, I'm overheating it by any means. And just for, uh, in case you're curious, uh, the background you see behind me is I'm at camping. Uh, Cheyenne Mountain State Park in Colorado near Cheyenne Mountain, which you guys better know as NORAD. Where I got Colorado Springs on one side, NORAD on the other. Nice place in between to camp. And uh, it may look all washed out behind me because if I don't do it that way, which I'll change it to see, to show you, uh, you won't be able to hardly see me at all. I'm in the shade because storms are rolling through. So let's go a little further on this one, see what happens. So I'm about halfway into this Gurkha Mar Marquesa. It's pretty good so far. I wanted to show you uh, a little more what's beyond here. Eh. What you see isn't as good as what I can see. But it is what it is. Performing really well. I say mild to medium. But it's got a nice little flavor to it. Let's keep going. I wanted to show you what an un uneven burn looks like. So there's the top, there's the bottom, well, top and bottom I guess is relative, but <clears throat> that's a canoe right there. So, what to do? Apply a little heat on the unburned area. Yeah, who's to say why these things happen? I. It, it, to me, it, it comes down to the quality of the wrapper, the cigar, the aging. I mean, I, I guess there could be some user error in there too, but I don't know what I could have possibly done differently. I just smoked it. So let's see. Looks like it'll be okay. Let's keep moving along. Getting near the end of this Gurkha Marquesa. Um, the smell is really good. The flavor, eh, a little little bitter. It's getting more bitter as I get towards the end here. But the smell, the aroma, the waft, if, if, you, if you want to put it that way, is, is really, really good. Putting off tons of smoke. Other than that wonky burn, which was pretty wonky, about as wonky as you can get. Um, but since then, it's burned fairly evenly. <clears throat> On a score, if I were to give it a score, I'd give it a 92. Only because get, it, most of the two thirds of it, I wasn't really getting a whole lot. Of, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but coming over the microphone that is. But uh, I'm near Fort Carson right above Fort Carson. So it's five o'clock and they're blowing Reveille, I guess that is. Pretty cool sound, huh? If you can hear it, I hope you can. But um, I think they have it going in two different places because the echo, or it's echoing really strangely. Yeah, I hear it on the south side first. Oh, they just fired the cannon. I don't know if you heard that. Don't know how sensitive this microphone is but it's pretty cool 10 o'clock they uh, blow taps I believe it would be
yeah, it's, it's coming out two different places and they're not quite synced up. I guess if you're on the ground near one, it wouldn't matter, but when you are high enough up like we are and you can hear it in two, from two different directions, it, and it's still echoing through the canyon down there. Anyway, this has been the Gurkha Marquesa. This is Chris at Stogie Palace. Thanks for uh, watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for all the subscribers. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. You don't have to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. What's there not to like? Except for maybe the lighting. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, would I recommend this? No, there's too many other better cigars to spend your money on out there. It's okay. It's it's a little too pricey for something to take terribly seriously. You might say, well, it'd be good for a yard gar or give to friends, whatever like that, but uh, that's it. they're not cheap for that. If they were in the $3 range or less, yeah, all day long. But uh, in the $7, $8, $9 range, in that range, there's a lot better cigars out there. So, like I said, great aroma. That's probably because that Sumatra wrapper, but a uh, little, little bitter on the inside. About to get hit with a thunderstorm, so I will see you guys later.